Hi everyone, my name is Laura Pollock and I'm an artist. I paint my dreams. I started painting my dreams about 10 years ago after I joined a Jungian dream group. It was so beneficial and not only beneficial, it was just intriguing as well. Um, the more I painted my dreams, the more I realized how helpful it was to um, focus on and study these dreams. And the more I became um, amazed at, at what really happens in, in the dream world and how mysterious the whole process really is. So the reason why I'm doing this video is I've had a number of people ask me if I would teach them how to paint their dreams and that they could start this process for themselves. And to be perfectly honest, I just really don't have the time I work full time and I paint full time. So just giving lessons just really wasn't um, a possibility. But I thought, oh, I can, I can put out a video, show how I do this whole process, and hopefully it'll benefit others as much as it's benefited me. So we'll go ahead and begin. And um, first off, what I do is I, I purchased a dream journal. That's essential. The other thing that I've done that's an optional um, method, but one I rely upon heavily is my uh, cell phone. I've gotten an app, a recording app on it, and I'll record my dreams as well. And that's really handy. And it's also very important to record your dreams immediately. So when you wake up from a dream, even if you're really tired, just go ahead and scribble it down. Even if you don't think it's important, even if it's like just a snippet, there's so much you can gain from that little snippet. So go ahead and do that. And then when you're ready to paint your dream, just paint whatever part of the dream really calls to you. Something that you think would be really fun to paint, or it was a part of the dream that really intrigued you, or um, that you're curious about. And that's key to be curious, not to be afraid, not to think, oh, that's so ugly and gross. I don't want to paint that, but to just be curious and open about everything. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you by showing you my own process. I am currently in the beginning phase of a, a dream painting. I just started this uh, maybe a couple of hours ago and what it is is Smokey the Bear in my my um, childhood bedroom, sleeping, or actually just waking up. What I'll do is I'll share the dream, and then I'll share some some points that are important and maybe a symbol or two. And then as the painting progresses, I thought I would do more videos, and layers will come up. And that's kind of the cool thing about creativity and painting is not only are there layers of paint, but now we're going to start to experience layers of symbolism and layers of meaning and more things might surface as I paint this painting with, with not only the painting progressing, but meaning of the dream uh, unfolding. So I'll go ahead and I'll begin by sharing my dream. This dream, by the way, was, um, was I had it on August the 4th of 2019, and today is March 21st, 2020. So there's been a lot of time between this dream and today, but that's okay. Um, it's important. I've, it's been nagging at me to paint this, this dream, and so I'm going to honor that. And not only is it nagging at me, but now synchronicities are starting to happen that are telling me I need to focus on this dream. And for those of you that don't know what synchronicity means, it's a term coined by Carl Jung, who was a Swiss psychiatrist that studied dreams. And he's who inspired me. I mean, I'm inspired by dreams because of Carl Jung. I, I, found, I find the man to be brilliant and fascinating and um, his books and his you know the, the the writings of Carl Jung are so powerful to me so one of the synchronicities 
uh, or what the synchronicity, what synchronicity means is a meaningful coincidence. So I've been having this baking feeling that I need to paint this dream. And then just a few days ago, I found this mug. Um, it's a Smokey the Bear mug, and it's where I currently work now. It's one of the, these little shops by where I work, and I've been walking by it uh, the past few weeks, and I keep seeing the Smokey the Bear mug, and it's like, okay. Then, I had another synchronicity a few days ago because of all this, um, all the news on coronavirus, and I've become this news junkie. I was listening to my Sirius FM radio in my car, and there's been these commercials about Smokey the Bear, and only you can put out wildfires is, is the slogan. And um, it's like, okay, there's another synchronicity. So I know that I'm on the right track painting this dream at this time. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and read the dream. In the dream, I'm in operations with Nicole and Jeremiah, and operations is actually, um, at my former job at the Denver Art Museum. And Nicole was my supervisor and Jeremiah, uh, he was a lead. Uh, uh, he was also an a fellow coworker. And so I'm, in, I'm at my former job with them. And when I had this dream, I did work at the Denver Art Museum at that time. They're, they are talking about a podcast. I've seen this podcast before and I've downloaded it on my phone. And when they were talking about the podcast, they were talking about it like it was a, a ghost story podcast or it had some spooky stories to it. And that's what I originally thought the podcast was, but it really wasn't about that. It was about Smokey the Bear and it was kind of boring and innocent. So anyway, Jeremiah had put this podcast on and we went behind Nicole's desk and we were all looking at her monitor. And on the monitor, um, it ended up not being a podcast at all, but it was like a movie. And it was a 1950s movie. And it was of uh, people on the beach, a, a beach, and there was the ocean behind it. And there was these 1950s cars that were all sideways. And they were just floating on their side, or they were the side view of the car. And they were just floating to the beach and then once the cars got to the beach, the people in the cars and the cars would just glide over the sand, kind of like it was they were surfing. And they were laughing and they were having all this fun. And as I'm watching this video or this movie on the monitor, I'm feeling this sense of alarm, thinking, oh my gosh, a disaster is about to hit. Um, something terrible is going to happen. And none of these people are aware that something really bad's about to happen to them. Like, like maybe a tidal wave or something, something horrible like that is about to happen. Then the dream switches and I'm an adult in this dream and I'm in my childhood bedroom and I'm sleeping in my childhood bed, bed which is a canopy bed at my mother's house. And I'm from Butte, Montana and it was the house I grew up in and um, I'm sleeping in bed and I wake up and there's a, an ashtray next to my bed on a nightstand and it's got a cigarette in it that's been, that's, that's lit and burning. And I know that I've been smoking in bed and I'm feeling like alarmed, like, oh my gosh, I just woke up and I've been smoking in bed. And I'm feeling all worried that they're gonna smell the smoke in the house, that my parents will smell the cigarette smoke. And I realize I'm Smokey, I'm Smokey the Bear. I look like Smokey the Bear in bed and I wake up. So I'm gonna keep this video short because I'm gonna to continue to make videos and as this as this painting progresses, but I wanna um, have it be informational and teach you something um, as well as help uncover the meaning of the dream. So one of the things I, I do when I have a dream like this is I'll research. So I researched Smokey the Bear and I went to SmokeyTheBear.com and I want you to see the synchronicity of this. Smokey, in 1950, 
Smokey the Bear um, was in this forest fire and these, smoke, these, these uh, firefighters rescued him. And he had been discovered um, and they had hoped that the mother would come and rescue him, but apparently that didn't happen. And after these firefighters survived the fire, they went and looked for the bear cub and they did find him, he, he survived but he had been badly burned. His, his hind leg, or his hind legs and his um, paws were all burned. And they, they ended up bringing him to the uh, zoo in Washington, D.C. But the synchronicity there is 1950. I was looking at the monitor and there was that 1950s uh, scene with the 1950s car and the, the women were in 1950s bathing suits. And then here, Smokey the Bear was rescued in 1950. I think that's meaningful. The other um, symbolism that I want to focus on just for this video is the bear. Um, when, you, when you look at symbols, there's two ways of looking at it. You can look at it from your own personal associations and also what's the general association of that symbol. So for me, like many other people I, I assume, bear usually makes me think of, and I associate the word bear with mother bear, like a protectiveness, like a, a mother a mother instinct. And I think that's key to this dream, this, to this dream. I also think of bears as uh, animals that hibernate, that, that go to sleep and they sleep for long periods of time. And sleep is the unconscious, is symbolic of the unconsciousness. So I think um, this dream already has, this painting has symbolisms of the unconsciousness, not only because it's a, a bear that hibernates, but because it's also in the bedroom. Um, the bedroom and being in bed when you're asleep, that can, that can be a symbol of the unconsciousness. Bedrooms are also a very intimate place. Um, so it's a, it's a part of a house. And when you dream of a house, um, it's usually the self. It's symbolic of the self. And a bear cub, Smokey the Bear, a bear that um, had been badly burned, um, I think are all significant and sim symbolic of what this dream is about. So there's some symbolism, Smokey the Bear, and we talked about synchronicity and to look for that. and. Um, Hopefully you'll join me again for another video as this painting unfolds. Thank you so much.